Okay, I see 11, 12, 13. So we are live. Hi, good morning, everyone. We're waiting for all of the participants to join before we get started with our webinar. In the meantime, um, I have just launched a poll for you guys to let us know a little bit about you. If you're using no CRM already, if you're familiar with Wallaxy, if you're just here just to kind of understand what we're talking about, how to better prospect, we would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you have any extra comments in the chat, please add them and we will get started in, what do you say, uh, Sophia, within three minutes or so? I mean, yeah, it's good, it's good. Perfect, great. Okay, I will hide the number of participants and as I said. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of people, but that's great. We want an active audience for today, right? Yes. So uh, just I'm giving a heads up for everyone. Jani, I just saw your uh, your question. The webinar, this webinar specifically is only going to be in English. Um, if you're looking for the No CRM Italian webinar, um, we do have them, but I think we had one today and it was canceled. Um, you can subscribe again on our website, nocrm.io um, slash webinars. Uh, but today we will discuss everything regarding Wallaxy in English only, okay? I can say buongiorno, buonanotte. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love Sophia. to speak Italian. What is <laughs> That's the only thing I know in Italian. I'm being safe <laughs> <Pepperoni. laughs> Ciao, bella ragazze. Wow. <laughs> Ciao, bella ragazzo. <laughs> Sofia, do you speak, do you speak, besides Spanish and English, what else do you speak? French? French, yes. Right. Yes, French. I, I, I still don't, don't, I don't have this same level to present in French yet, but I do speak French, yes. Nice. Okay. I don't speak French. You speak even French? I, I don't speak French, even though I work for a French company, but I speak Russian and Spanish. Wow. Ah, yes, I saw <laughs> I saw your LinkedIn profile and it said it says Russian. I was like, wow. But you know how to write it or yeah. I I, I did. I studied in Russia, but anyway, we're off Whoa. topic. So Welcome everyone who's joining. For the ones that didn't listen to me before, this webinar is going to be carried out completely in English. We have our wonderful co-host Sophia from Wallaxy. And um, as I mentioned before, I launched a poll um, just to get to know you a little bit, to understand where you're coming from, what brought you here initially. If you've ever heard of no CRM, if you've ever heard of Wallaxy, we want to know it all. Also, if you have any extra comments, you can write them in our chat. And Augusto, yes, our webinar today, it's going to be only in English. It's a Wallaxy No CRM webinar, okay? Well, Sophia, I think we are ready. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen with a little presentation that we have for today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there we go. So... Everyone, welcome once again. My name is Andrea. I am a key account manager for the Americas here at NoCRM. And today I have the pleasure of hosting Sofia Dominguez. Sofia is the community manager for Wallaxy and the LinkedIn acquisition expert. And the topic that we will be discussing for today is how to better prospect and qualify leads from LinkedIn, okay? So, First, I'm going to be discussing this brief agenda with Sophia today. We will do a small introduction about NoCRM. Uh, we will discuss how NoCRM can be paired with LinkedIn. And then Sophia, it's going to take on the presentation and show us how we can have better lead generation strategies with LinkedIn, how we can better qualify those pros prospects coming in from LinkedIn and how we can engage with them as well. And towards the end, we will have a Q&A section uh, in which we will do our best to answer all of the questions that you are currently writing. I'd appreciate if you keep the comments in the chat and if you keep uh, the questions in the Q&A section. Right, Sophia? Great, yes, so let's get started. So no CRM, who are we, what are we? 
we are a French uh, platform, software as service lead management software. Uh, sorry for the redundancy there. We were launched in Paris, in France in 2014. We are already translated in six languages and we have an average of around 12,000 salespeople using the platform in over 80 countries around the world. We are a team of around 20 workers who are fully remote and fully mo motivated. And no CRM is the perfect tool for a small and medium businesses from one to 30 users. What was our goal when we created no CRM? We wanted to help salespeople from the creation of the deal of the lead uh, to where you actually are able to close it. And how are we doing that? What have we found? Well, we have found that indeed sales teams need a tool to sell. And uh, we've understood that Excel, which many of the teams that come to me use, has several limitations when it comes to uh, keeping up with the deals that you're managing. We've also found that many of you have fear of change. Even though you might understand that there might be better tools for you, for your prospecting services, for your lead management services out there, many people are afraid of changing into those tools. And we've also understood that classical CRMs are definitely not made for salespeople. They're most likely made for other teams um, that don't have anything to do with sales. And many of them actually require a lot of work that it's has nothing to do with sales and is more for management purposes, right? So how do we come to solve this? I don't know if you've seen this before, Sophia, but for no CRM, we understand sales as a process. And our vision of a good sales tool for the sales manager's perspective is that the sales manager has to be focused on sales, right? They cannot be focused on data entry because that is time consuming and that makes them lose sight of the, the next step that they should be doing with their sales, right? And uh, they should be focused on the best next daily activity or follow-up that they're managing with their leads. From the commercial director perspective or the CEO's per perspective, the perfect sales tool should help you follow the activities and the results that you have in the tool, should help you improve your sales team, should be collaborative, and should help you centralize all sales activities that you have in one place. Now, why should you choose a tool like no CRM? Well, since our tool is very easy to use and sales focused, we can say that we have a better adoption rate. So actually sales teams find our tool useful, which is great. There's always an exception to complete because we understand sales as a process. Thus, we can safely say that we can help you increase the rate of closing cases up to 25%. And we have complete support and help in, in English, in Spanish, and French, in over six languages, as I understand correctly. So uh, if you have already no CRM, you've probably seen this before. When you have an opportunity in to do, it means that you have an activity plan for today. And once you complete it, you will set it up to standby and you will set up your next follow-up. And this is going to go on and on and on and on until you've actually won the sale. And uh, well, we're ready to discuss no CRM and LinkedIn before we pass on to you, Sophia. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my screen again. Okay. And let me see. Okay, you should be you should be able to see this correctly. I have the pipeline. The pipeline right here is the heart of no CRM. If you have already another CRM tool, it might look similar. The difference with no CRM is, as you can see here, it's very clear that I have some opportunities in red, which means that I have an activity plan for today. And then I have some activities in blue, some leads, sorry, in blue, which means that I've planned an activity for the future, right? So as I mentioned before, we are aiming to have all of the information in just one place. And I took the liberty, Sophia, of creating a lead under your name because I wanted to show how no CRM works with LinkedIn. It's so yeah, so you, as you can see here, I can go ahead and search Sophia up on LinkedIn. 
and I found her and I can add her URL uh, profile in my no CRM leads right here. And if I add her, I can add that activity in the comment section as well. Or if I message her, or if I'm already in conversations with her, I could add that as an activity here in my comment section. Now, what would happen if I needed to find a complete new prospect on LinkedIn? Well, I have another tool available at NoCRM, which is called the Lead Clipper. I don't know if you've heard that before, Sophia. Um, essentially, it's a tool that you can add on to Google Chrome, and it looks like this right here. And what I can do is I can clip information from any site. I've used the liberty to do it on LinkedIn because it's easier to show. And what it does is that it extracts, extracts the information from LinkedIn, and it can help me create directly a lead from LinkedIn onto NoCRM. So I can fill my information out here. This is a friend of mine who kindly offered her profile for me to do this. And I can create the lead on NoCRM. Oops, I forgot to add my mandatory tags here. And voila, I've created the lead on NoCRM and I can keep on managing it directly from my pipeline. Now, uh, another interesting thing that you might see is that um, you can search for your leads on Google and LinkedIn. And these are, are just some of the features that we have available at NoCRM. But since we're focusing on prospecting on LinkedIn activities, um, I wanted to show you that to be better prepared, prepared for your sales calls, it's really useful to browse at the profile. I'm sure Sophia kind of snooped around my profile before we, we met uh, for our webinar. And the idea is to kind of introduce yourself and be uh, very personal, personable when you're trying to reach out to someone through LinkedIn. So this is my uh, colleague's profile. Her name is Janina. She's the director for the Americas, the sales director. And I can go ahead and just copy the URL. And if I add her, I can also edit that in my comment section and I can add the URL here and voila. Essentially, that's everything that you can do regarding LinkedIn uh, on NoCRM and what I wanted to show you today. Now, um, Sophia, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and I'm going to give you the floor. Good. Actually, I'm going to show you how to import your leads into NoCRM through Galaxy automatically. So this way, this way you will be able to import 1,000 leads in just a few seconds. Not a few seconds few minutes, maybe, okay? So do you want, uh, uh, Andrea already introduced me, but I'm Sofia, I'm from Mexico. I work for, for Wallaxy, an automation uh, tool for LinkedIn. And today I will show you how to generate leads on LinkedIn using Wallaxy, no CRM, and the whole sales process, okay? So we can start, I can start sharing my screen. Where is that? Here. Yes. Sophia, you. while you share your screen, I just wanted to quickly mention that we are recording this session and we're streaming it as well live. And uh, we will discuss a surprise offer towards the end of the presentation. To, so make sure that you hang around to, till the end, okay? Okay. Yes, we have two surprises for you. Okay. <laughs> Let me just go to presentation mode. Yes, this time I did it. Last time I presented with my search bar, <laughs> but this time I could have, I made the presentation. <laughs> okay, good. So I will we'll present how the easiest way to generate leads on LinkedIn. And the first thing that you should be thinking about is why LinkedIn. But first, okay, I made a dynamic presentation so we can you can interact with my presentation. So if you want to go and scan this QR code on your phone or go directly to www.menti.com, you can enter the code on the screen. And you will be able to access my my slides and start uh, sending me love and comments. Okay, so I see people already started scanning this. Nice. Okay, this is the second time I do this. The first one it was in Spanish with Janina. Uh, so let's start with the presentation. Okay, so first of all, why LinkedIn? 
Num uh, reason number one is a professional social network where you will find millions of people. So your lead will be there. If you're in the B2B business, this is the place to search for your clients. Second, the data is updated. So since the leads are owners of their own profiles, you will find their professional email or personal. This depends on their on how they created the account. You will, you will find their company and history. You will find everything you need to know before approaching your lead, your lead. Then, and the best one is that you don't you, you don't need any technical skill. Everyone can use LinkedIn. It's like a Facebook, for, but for professionals. So it's very, very easy to use, very easy to create profiles. And that those are the three reasons that we find, uh, why we find important to use well, see, uh, LinkedIn, sorry. Okay, now, before starting on LinkedIn, what do you think has a higher response rate? A cold email campaign or a LinkedIn perspective? Let's see what the public says. Okay, four already on LinkedIn perspective side. Nine, no cold email campaign. Of course you knew because we are talking about LinkedIn, <laughs> but yes, the results are 10 times better with a LinkedIn perspective. Maybe a cold email campaign could, ha could have a higher response rate in, other, in a certain industry, but faster results are seen on LinkedIn also because this is where you can contact your lead directly instead of sending a cold email where they are not expecting the email at all and maybe it's not an email they actually read. Okay, so yes, for all the people who voted for LinkedIn prospecting, this has a higher response rate, 10 times more. Okay, so before starting on LinkedIn, there are three topics you should know. The first one is well, I will start with my favorite, build your buyer persona. I will talk about this uh, in detail uh, later, but you need to uh, build your buyer persona. This will let you know who will you approach, who is your client, what are they looking for, what kind of message they read, they what kind of content, content they, they consume. You need to optimize your profile. Your profile is your presentation card everyone will be looking at it. So if you don't optimize it and you put your inf like information you want to share, they won't be able to contact you or know who you are. So think about the picture, your headline, the if, and it depends on the type of strategy you are looking for. If you are looking to expand your network, it would be a totally different profile uh, from a profile that is looking to sell and generate sales on LinkedIn, leads on LinkedIn or if you are looking for a job. So we have different materials in our blog related to these, but look at your profile like your presentation card. So mm -hmm. think about it, look at what services you offer. For example, me, I, I use it to, to look for guest speakers because I'm also a, like Andrea, and we have a wake up webinar, a webinar session and I'm the one who looks for the prospects. So on my profile, you will find information about the webinars, how to apply for a space on our on our channel. So optimize your profile is very, very important. And you need an optimized sales funnel. This would be a combo between no CRM, LinkedIn, and Wallaxy. These three tools will have will make you have an optimized sales funnel. So thank you for all the love and the likes on the slides. Now, what is a good prospecting? the good message to the right person at the, at the right time, okay? So if you want to convert a lead, you need these three things. How are we gonna find our right person? This is easy if you know your buyer personas. I don't know, okay, so here you have two options. You can target by behavior or demographics, or you can combine both. The more detailed your buyer persona is, the more, the better would be for your, your approach and it will compare it easier. You need to start uh, thinking about your different buyer personas. Buyer persona is your future client. To, to start building your buyer persona, you can look at your competitor's clients, you can ask your, your actual clients and start building like fictitious personas. Uh, describing as much as you can. For example, let's see, Andrea, Andrea is a, I will start, I will use the same example I use in Spanish, but Andrea is a bookworm. So she likes to read, She what kind of books she reads, where is she from? 
She's a female from uh, 30 years old. I hope you are 30 years old or something. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> from Colombia. Um, you need to be as detailed as possible. And this yeah. will help you start uh, focusing your campaigns and your approaches. Okay. You can have more than one buyer persona, of course. I don't, I don't think anyone has just one specific type of client, but you need to divide them in at least two or three different buyer personas to create then three different campaigns that will have a great, like a better impact that using the same message for the three different buyer personas. Okay. So once you start uh, building your buyer persona, you need to build your good message. Okay. And this is all about defining the approach. Now that you know that Andrea likes to read and that she's from Colombia, first, you know that you need to speak to her in Spanish, mostly in Spanish, even if you, she speaks uh, English, her mother tongue is Spanish. So you should be able, you should do the approach in Spanish. Because this, I think this is one of the mistakes people make. I have been approached on LinkedIn in Italian. I don't speak Italian. I don't speak Portuguese. I don't speak uh, Russian. And they still prospect me. I know some of these are users just testing, but some of them are not. So I think you should be able to uh, buy language, which is important because otherwise you're just wasting, wasting your energy and they can mark you as spam. And this is very uh, risky. So this is an example to laugh a little bit. Uh, most I, I know most of us have received already this kind of message like, hey, my name is Alfred and I have the perfect product for your company. I think this is the worst message you can send. Why? Because only if you are sure the lead will react to this message, otherwise they will they will mark you spam or they want they will ghost you. So don't be Alfred prepare your approach and how are we going to prefer the approach? Okay. I think it, there's sound. I don't know. Yes. I need to press enter. Press, press enter. Okay. Normally there's sound like, trrr. do you hear it or not? I can do the drum, drum roll for you, Sophia. Okay. There was sound. I don't know. I tested it and there was sound, but okay. What do yeah. the st statistics really say about the messages? Okay. Let's see this because this will help you build your message. First of all, the shorter, the better. No one is, the, no one has the time on LinkedIn to be reading a long message, a novel, a book. The, the shorter, the better, but the shorter, the better doesn't mean I'm gonna sell you right away. A, a message of less than 300 characters converts two times more than a longer message with 1000 char characters. So the shorter, the better will be something essential for your approach. There's no point in spamming. So sending more than three messages is, is considered as spamming. And if you are a spammer, you will be marked as a spam. Being marked as a spam will make you lose your account. So try to be smoother, try to be a human. People doesn't like to be stuck, doesn't like to be receiving the same message and insisting over and over again. I think that you should be able to get a response in the first two messages. If you don't get a response, then look at your message, try a different approach, look at your profile maybe, or at your buyer persona. Maybe they are not answering because this message is not, is not, um, is not appropriate for your buyer persona. Maybe your buyer persona will react to a different message or a different profile. So this is very, very important to see. Also, sorry, I'm a little bit sick. Um, <clears throat> Now the invitation note is not essential. We made some, we did some case studies in Galaxy, and we have more 10% more of acceptance rate without a connection request. Why? Because people, I think notes are important if you want to say something in, in specific, but if you don't have anything like important to say in the first met, met note since it's very short, you can, you can visit the profile, add the contact and then send a longer message, of course, less than 300 characters, but they are not essential for the acceptance rate. This doesn't determine if they will accept you or not. I think what would be would be doing this difference is your profile. 
your picture and the headline that they can read when you the, when they are looking at your profile because you know they, there's like mine I think it has community manager and then it has wallet C an automation tool for LinkedIn. So this time they will be like, okay, it's Sophia, community manager, and she's contacting me because she's looking for a community thing. Okay, so I think it's better to have a good headline and a good profile than adding a, I would love to add you to my network note. Okay, so this is what the statistics says. And if you are doing the same thing over and over again, and you're not getting results, think about it go through your messages you can even test these these approaches with your with your clients your friends your different buyer personas try try to do different tests tests or you can add pictures you can add a link try different different things and expect different results but if you keep sending the same message scamming people and sending thousand messages just to see who will answer my approach it won't work. So it's good to build your approach um, focusing on different buyer personas. So that's basically, basically, basically uh, what the first two uh, first two parts of LinkedIn. Okay. Now I need to breathe like five seconds before continuing. Continuing, and I saw this um, thing that I used in the last presentation, and it's really good because everyone can relax. So let's breathe deeply before it after uh, before going through the, ne the next part okay good sometimes we need to breathe so yeah. now that we all breath breathe let's go to the next part and okay i have another pause commercial pause we have a community as well as no crm our community shares also with uh, webinars these webinars are related to linkedin lead generation and we, we are gonna have a, a next webinar in French with no CRM where we are gonna invite the CEO and they will be discussing the second part of this webinar, which is how to sell. So, so if you want to join our community to later on uh, read about our, our tool and our content, please free, feel, feel free to scan the QR. And now, Let's talk about the third part, the sales funnel. My favorite sales funnel. Part. Funnel. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, wait. This is sales funnel. Okay, so we have awareness. You will create this awareness on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, you will be able to start being in your leads mind. Maybe because you visited the profile, maybe because you shared some content maybe because you already added the person on LinkedIn. So you start, you will start on LinkedIn creating awareness and interest. Once you start to create awareness and interest, you will um, make them take a decision. This is where you will be able to integrate no CRM with Wallaxy because once they are like, okay, I might be interested. I will maybe take a decision and then they will take the action. You, in these two last steps is when you will start using no CRM. So awareness and interest is created on LinkedIn. And you, this is where Wallaxi is interesting because, okay, I said no spamming, but this doesn't mean I'm not, I'm against automation, of course. Uh, Wallaxi will get you further. It will let you automate certain actions. For example, if you want to, create campaigns where your buyer persona uh, will react if you visit the profile and one day later, later you add him on LinkedIn and if he accepts, you send him a message, then Wallaxi is perfect for you because this will be automated. You will just select a template where you will be able to create these three actions and you will import all the Andrea bookworms to, to Wallaxi and Wallaxi will do it for you, okay? So now the integration with no CRM is native. You won't need a, an, uh, an integration tool like Zapier or Make, which is one of our good news. Uh, this will help you grow your uh, database inside no, inside no CRM, and you will be able to go from a response to a sale. Sales, thank you, sale. Thank you to, thanks to our 
our integration. And how does it work? First, you create a policy campaign, the one I was talking about a few minutes ago. If the prospect replies, you will wait 30 minutes or uh, or 10 responses, and it will be imported into Wallaxy, into no CRM. So Andrea and then Andreas reply to my to my message or to my connection request. I'll wait 30 minutes and it will be imported to no CRM in the different cards of your prospects. And you will be able to do the follow-up and close the sale in your no CRM account. So this is how the integration works. And to go further with your strategy, we always we also suggest you to create a content strategy. If you, are, for example, us in Galaxy, we have a blog where we have uh, white papers about lead generation, content strategy, how to create a profile on LinkedIn, how to start doing lead generation, etc. We have our YouTube channel where we share our uh, webinars. So we suggest you start your content strategy beside your lead generation strategy because maybe your lead today as, uh, accepted your connection but is not interested. He will be able to follow you through LinkedIn. And if you start sharing some content related to your services, he will start to recognize you as, a, as an expert. And maybe he won't buy you right away, but he will start to be nurtured. And this will make him take a decision later or... Maybe someone from his network will be looking for your for your service, and he's like, ah, now I remember he she does that. So I will recommend this to my to my network. So I think it's a great strategy to to use beside a lead generation strategy because the lead generation is not only behind the messages on LinkedIn messaging. This is also on your feed, and if they start seeing your content, they will start reacting, and this is like a like a snowball so you will get more and more attention more awareness and they can start uh, can be interested in your service later and be part of your leads okay so i think this is it i hope i didn't go very very fast okay good so thank you very much <laughs> and uh, okay i know we have a q a section but I did it last time with Janina and the Q&A has, this is my Q&A section. So if you have any question to Andrea or a question for me, for Andrea or for me, you can have it. You can, I think you can put it on the, on the screen, we'll show it. It's anonym. Yeah. We won't know who, who, who wrote it, but if you have any question or comment, you can put it here or you can put it on the Q&A section. Yeah, in the meantime, Sophia, let me read a question for you um, that we have in the Q&A box by yes. Giovanni. <clears throat> um, he says, LinkedIn management know that Wallaxy exists. Uh, will they do something to block your activity? Okay, so something you should know is Wallaxy is an automation tool. LinkedIn doesn't approve of automation in general, but we have some security to protect your account. The reason they do this is because they don't want spammers. We don't want spammers either. So I hope the information I share with you today will help you avoid being a spammer, but that will help you improve your lead generation because you will automate stuff. So yeah. yes, it's risky to use an automation tool, but if you use it correctly and you stay under the quota, we set up for you because we have actions, you won't be able to send 1,000 connection requests in one day. We have different quotas that will help you protect your account from being banned from LinkedIn. Yeah. But it's I, always I, a risk. Yeah. There's something that, that Sophia mentioned that I really like is being personable. We have to remember that our as sales managers, we're always trying to understand the needs of our clients. And lately, as Sophia mentioned, I've seen on LinkedIn people that didn't even bother to read my profile, send me requests, and they are not really trying to get to know me, but they're trying to sell me immediately. Wow. Uh, and that, yeah, that doesn't go either with the philosophy of no CRM. And I understand that it doesn't go with the philosophy of Wallaxy as well. Because uh, from the no CRM perspective, you want to manage only qualify leads. That's why uh, we have several tools that I mentioned briefly in my presentation. That's why we're always able to also, um, for example, create a sales script 
to help you improve the way that you prospect, improve the way that you qualify the leads, um, just to ensure that you're dealing with a real person, someone that it's following up with you. And I've seen that we have a lot of Q&As now. Before, nice. yeah, you answer the ones uh, that are on your board. There's another one here from the Q&A. Um, okay. uh, Janina is answering that one. So we can go ahead and answer the ones that are on the board. Um, you can take whichever you want tonight. I don't think there's a... There's, There's one in the Q and A section, but it's I think it's for you. Oh, okay, it's it's there. Yeah. Um, okay. You want to read the ones from the Q and A section, and then I'll pass for uh, to the screen. Sure. Uh, well, Danina is answering the one um that says, "What are we going to see in the next webinar?" Um, uh -huh. Thank you, Janina. And the next one says, "Does no CRM email use SMN SMTP so that email comes from my account?" Chris, yes. Um, Janina is answering a little bit further on that, but basically when you synchronize, when you sync your email to no CRM, you're sending the email from your own inbox. Um, so you can connect Gmail, you can connect Outlook, you can connect any server to no CRM. And essentially what you're doing is just sending the email from your own inbox and every email related to any sales or any prospects within no CRM will be populated under your lead. Okay. Um, Go ahead with the questions that we have here. So it says, do you have a preferred sequence to use in Wallaxy, one that you get the most engagement out of? Thanks. Okay. And I would say my best, uh, my favorite sequence is visit and connection request. But because my message is short and I I need just to attract them to my profile to see, to, to get a response. But I think this depends on your, on your industry. I would say that, the basic one is visit, uh, visit, connection request, and two messages. Yeah. More than this, I myself I consider this as a spam. Like, don't be a spammer. Don't use more than two messages. So I would use this one. You have different uh, templates on on Wallaxy where you can. Uh, they I think they are pre-filled sequences to grow your network to sell. So you can see different options depending on what's your purpose with with Wallace C. I let you choose from the ones they are already pre-filled, but my favorite I think is visit and connection request. Can you expand on the risk of LinkedIn does ban an account? Do you know if you're able to unblock it if it, if it happens? Okay, so LinkedIn can block your account if you, are, if you are a spammer. This doesn't mean using an automation tool. So if, they, if you receive a warning from LinkedIn, you will be blocked for, I think, I'm not sure about this information, but you are blocked for a few hours. You will accept that you are not using an automation tool. Then you get a second warning if you do, if you continue being a spammer, and then you will be blocked for a few days, and then you can lose your account. So automations, automation tools are risky, but if you are under the quota, you have good approaches and not a reason to be a spammer and to be marked as spam, you won't risk it. But you should be, you should know that it's a risky decision and that you should have me. I do my prospecting from a different uh, profile. I don't do it in my in my old old profile. This way, in case I lose my account, it is only one of my other profiles. So I suggest that you try with a different profile, maybe not a profile that you have been having for a while, but I think it's good if you use a good approach and you know what you are looking for in your leads. Like qualified leads should be treated like humans. Not everyone should be treated as, human, as humans. So when you think about how to prospect, just think that you will approach this person, even if it's online, think about it. If you, were, if you would approach with this type of message, like in presential, like if you go to a network, would you be like, hey, I'm selling these iPhone iPhone, and how are you? No, like personalize it, the message. Think as it, uh, is, if the person is in front of you, would you be like this? A message that helps me a lot when I'm adding people to grow my, my network is I present myself. I present myself like, hey, I'm Sofia Dominguez. Well, not Sofia, just only Sofia. 
I'm Mexican, I'm based in France, I have a dog, and I share three facts about me. And this kind of message has made me have a lot of response, like a good response rate and a good acceptance rate. So I think it's a good deal, uh, deal breaker, message breaker. How do you say it? Like the first break, break icebreaker. 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 That's that's the word I was looking for. So uh, I I expanded on the on the on the topic. Now I couldn't read the QR. I, I, yeah, I'd like to add something more from my perspective as a user. I'm using Wallaxy. I've been using mm -hmm. it for a little while as well, with no CRM. And mm -hmm. um, also, I try to connect with the necessity. Like people are coming to no CRM to use the service, and I'm the key account manager, and I want to make sure that they find me helpful. So the type of messages that I use and the sequence that I have in Wallaxy is just to make sure that they understand that I'm there to help. Um, so make sure that th that is a great way of engaging someone. If you're just offering help, if you're offering maybe a space to chat, I offer my Calendly um, so that they can uh, have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Those sorts of things can make a great difference uh, that then let's say instead, I don't know, someone was trying to sell me English courses and uh, in my profile, it says that very clearly, I have a C1 in English. I speak English. I speak Russian. I speak Spanish. I've been working in English almost my whole life. So it's like so they didn't read your profile at all. Yes, you didn't even read my profile. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah, the, no, the it's fine. <laughs> and actually, once you have your bio persona, there's no excuse on getting the wrong lead because you can use LinkedIn filters. And if you don't have the budget to get Sales Navigator with the with better filters, then you can import them to Wallaxy and then you can fill, use the filters in Wallaxy to continue uh, cleaning your list and get like the right, right leads. So there's no excuse in approaching the wrong profile. Of course, we can make mistakes, but if you know your leads, then you will, and being helpful, I love the idea of like being helpful, being, I think that's very human. Okay, now, uh, the QR, QR, QR code. Okay, so uh, at the end of the, you can, I think you can search Wallaxy, W A A L A X Y, and you will find the group on Facebook. Because I don't know. Yeah, I it was, I think it was the link for the community that yes, David. I don't have the, yeah. I don't have the link with me. I need to, I don't know how to, I don't know if Janina can share it. Is Wallaxy on Facebook? But if you search Wallaxy on Facebook, you will find the group. Uh, yes. Okay. So, hello. I started a campaign on Wallaxy, but cannot see any prospect on no CRM. Okay. Remember, you get either thin replies or you wait 30 minutes. If this happened and you didn't get your prospect, please contact the con uh, chat support just to see if there's nothing, uh, something wrong. If there's no uh, something wrong with your webhook or I don't know, I need I, we need to see your your profile to see this so you can contact yeah. the chat support to know more. Uh, any insight on the best ways to establish prospects for Wallaxy campaigns? I think build your buyer personas and uh, create your campaigns uh, focusing on each buyer persona. Sophia, do you know you know well? We when will be launched the messaging integration? Okay, this is a question. This is related to Biwa. Biwa is one of our future features. This feature will be able to let you control your LinkedIn messaging from our tool, which will be able to make you set set up safe replies. Uh, auto responses and everything. This will be launched in the next few months. We are a little bit behind the agenda, but maybe two more months, but we will have it by the end of the year. That's for sure. This 2022, we will close with P1. Um, okay, now why does it appear on Wallaxy and LinkedIn that the invitation was sent? Okay, this is a message uh, question for support. Please contact our chat support so we can uh, know what's happening with your account. What's the maximum connect invites can you that you can send per day so that your account won't be suspended? Okay, uh, we have a quota of 100 per day. The maximum on LinkedIn is 100 per week, but there's a bypass that all automation tools uh, use where you can go further 
uh, this is this is because you can you can add them by uh, using an email. So mm -hmm. uh, if you if you send more than one hundred, then you can be banned. But under one hundred is a good is a good amount using Wallaxy. Um, does stronger profile with more connections has lower chance of being restricted? I don't know. I think this is very. Uh, mm, I don't know how to say it. I don't think this is that these are factors that that will help you avoid being banned. Yeah. For example, I have I have we have had users that have lost their accounts, but this is not related. And sometimes it's not related to automation because we have. We have had accounts because we do a lot of, of tests to protect accounts to see what works, what doesn't work. And it's amazing that I have been one year with my dog's profile. It's yeah. a dog and I haven't received any warning from LinkedIn. And <laughs> profiles with a strong, a, a, strong, a strong profile with a lot of connections that's been prospecting the whole life have been banned forever. So this is like the random stuff from LinkedIn uh, that can happen to everyone. Just be, be, be aware of this if you're using automation. If, if, and even if you're not using automation, this can happen to you if you if you do it manually and you and you copy paste messages and stuff. So just yeah. try to be as human as possible with your account and it will be okay for you. Yeah, then, it's not about casting like a very wide net. It's just kind of targeting the buyer persona that you're trying to reach and make sure you're actually uh, building a relationship. We're talking about building relationships when we're talking about sales. Even if it's something that you're still going to buy, you, you don't want anyone just to kind of shove things in your face. Sorry for the expression. You want to kind of build a relationship, but that's something that we discovered from day one uh, when we created the integration with Wallaxy and no CRM uh, that between our philosophies, we knew that it was going to work. I don't know, Sophia, if you agree for me, it has been this way. I love Wallaxy so far. And I've actually, I just wanted to say thank you because I've read many of the comments, this one here saying uh, that they have been using Wallaxy for three months now. Many great comments, not only on NoCRM, but about Wallaxy. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Today. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this. And this is not a sponsor message. Okay. <laughs> it's someone from the from this from the public. Uh, I wanted to add something to what you said. Oh, I forgot. Uh, yes, but thank you very much for this comment. It's really nice to read this. I send a connection, a link, a new collection, a connection, a link to my free email newsletter. Mm -hmm. Is this okay to do on a first message? Uh, think about about it as if you were the one receiving this message. Do you think this person would like to receive a free email without subscribing to this email newsletter? I think it's good if you if you first ask if the person is interested in receiving a free email newsletter before sending it with no notice. Actually, we had we had an, an email newsletter, not, not email newsletter, a LinkedIn newsletter, where I was able to send them in a campaign, a monthly newsletter of everything that was happening on LinkedIn and Wallaxy, but I asked them to subscribe. Like I was, I created a campaign on Wallaxy where I was uh, approaching different leads and I asked them, hey, actually, I'm doing this newsletter. I presented myself with the case. I'm Sophia, three fun facts about me. And I do this as a professional, like a professional, I have a newsletter on LinkedIn. Do you want to be in? They said yes. Then I transfer them to my new campaign. I think this is a good and smooth way to do it than sending a first message without being asked, like, if you actually want to receive this newsletter. Yeah. So that would be my my suggestion. And I don't know if ah, you have a you have a question for you. The um, green the green one. The green one. The green so. one. Oh uh, yeah. No, I think it's more I don't know from from no CRM side, 
you can use Wallaxy starting on the Expert Edition and the Dream Team Edition. And there's a couple of things, Sophia, if you don't mind me adding uh, regarding no CRM. Uh, in no CRM, uh, we have lots of integrations. You can check in the admin panel for the integrations that are already in no CRM, like being able to sync your calendar. I forgot to mention that being able to sync your email, being able to generate leads automatically from a contact form as well. And we are a no code tool, which means that essentially you can easily create connections with either native integrations that you can find in the admin panel. Uh, for example, with Active Campaign, with Wallaxy, things like that, things that are very easily connected to NoCRM. Or you could create automations using Sapier and using, using Make, which is was formerly known as Integromat. Um, essentially, we're here to help with Sophia and myself. I just wanted to remind you that I'm the key account manager for the Americas. Janina has been very kind in adding um, the link to my uh, Calendly if you want to book me for a free sales uh, meeting. And also we have added this special offer that we have for Wallaxy. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, Sophia, it's two months for free. And That's you can it. try, yeah. You can try no CRM free for 30 days. Um, I think we have almost um, and uh, finished our time. Um, Janina is still uh, helping me answer one of the questions that we have in the Q&A section. Sophia, I don't know if you wanted to add any last thoughts. Um, yes. So yeah. for Galaxy, the two months for free are for new users. Mm -hmm. I love you users, but we don't have any promotion for you yet. But uh, if you are new users, you can try the Galaxy if you come from no CRM and the same for you, if you want to try no CRM, you can do it from our side too. You, we have 30 days, right? Yes, we said 30 days. So we suggest you try both tools and see how it works for you. Don't forget to create your buyer personas, optimize your profile before launching any campaign, okay? And yeah. if you have any question, I'll, I'm on LinkedIn. You can add me, Sofia Dominguez. I think you can, is Sofia Dominguez Wallaxi or Sofia Dominguez, something like this. Um, so thank you very much. I don't know if there's any other question before we go. Uh, Janina was answering the very last question uh, regarding um, connecting LinkedIn and Wallaxi and another third party, uh, party automation. Um, okay. For those types of questions, we just wanted to quickly recommend to reach out to support yes, on Wallaxi. Probably. And of course, on no CRM side, we're always available. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add our support email. Janina already added it for me, but just in case you might have missed it. Uh, thank you so much, Sophia. It was so nice chatting to you. I really thank you. our chat today. Okay, and I'll send mine uh, while I see also in case they want to contact the support. And you will find me in support some uh, some days of the week. Uh, thank you very much uh, for everything, and see you in the next episode. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. See you soon.